Howdy, howdy. It's true, you can now set up your Tangium wallet completely offline. This feature was added after a bunch of requests from users, especially those who want to set up their Tangium wallet with a seed phrase. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to set up your Tangium wallet completely offline, step by step. But if you've already set up your Tangium wallet while connected to the internet, don't worry, it's still secure. That's how I've set up all my Tangium wallets. This option is really an extra layer of confidence for anyone who wants to set up their wallet offline because they maybe feel uneasy about doing it while their phone's connected to the internet. By the way, if you're looking to get your first Tangium wallet or you're getting another one, my link in the description will get you a nice discount on your entire order. Okay, now we're ready to set up our Tangium wallet completely offline. I've got a brand new pack of Tangium cards. I've got two cards here. And then the first thing you need to do is make sure you have the most recent version of the Tangem app installed on your phone. So if you already have Tangem on your phone, just make sure that it's updated. Otherwise, if you're installing it for the first time, then it's going to install the most recent version anyways. So go ahead and open up the Tangem app. And this is where everything is different. Note that we are still connected to the internet. This is the only part of the process you need to be connected to the internet for. So we're going to tap scan Tangem and then scan any one of your cards from the box. And we can set this card aside. Now, what you wanna do here, don't tap create wallet, you want to go back. It says, are you sure you wanna exit the activation process? Go ahead and select okay. And then we're going to scan our second card, however many, however many cards you have. And now we're good to start the setup process. So at this point, you can Disconnect your phone from the internet. For me, I'm just going to go into airplane mode. And now the phone is completely offline and we're going to do the entire setup, the rest of the setup completely offline. So uh, if you wanted to set up your wallet without a seed phrase, you would just tap create wallet. But since we're going to use a seed phrase for this example, I'm going to select other options. Uh, if you are importing a seed phrase from another wallet, you could just tap import wallet uh, otherwise, if you're creating a brand new seed phrase, which is what I'm going to do, go ahead and select generate seed phrase. And you can choose either a 12 or a 24 word seed phrase. For the sake of this video, I'm going to do the 12 word seed phrase. So make sure to write this down in chronological order. Okay, once you have your seed phrase written down, go ahead and select continue. And now all you need to do is enter uh, word number two, seven, and 11 to confirm that you wrote everything down correctly. So word number two is stomach, if I can spell it right. Word number seven is electric. And word number 11 is Satoshi, let's go. Okay, so we can set our seed phrase aside and now we will tap create wallet. So now we need to scan, uh, for me it's 5624, and as you can see it says on the card 5624. So I'm going to go ahead and scan this card. And then we need to add our backup card. So whether you have two or three uh, total cards, you'll need to scan the additional one or two cards. So tap add card or ring, scan your second card. If you had a third card, you would want to hit uh, add card or ring. I only have two, so I'm going to finalize the backup. And this is just a warning saying that I've basically only added two cards when I can add a total of three. I only have two cards, so we're good to go. Next, we're going to set up the access code. Now, when you set up the access code, you wanna make it as long, robust, and random as possible. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to make it super simple. Tap confirm. And now we will need to scan the cards again. So it's asking to scan my primary card, which is 5624. And the primary and backup card identifier, it's really only for the setup process. The numbers on the back of the card don't really matter. Again, they only matter when you're setting up the cards so that you know which card you need to scan. All right, then we scan the backup card, which is 5632. But once the cards are set up, you don't really need to use the numbers and all of the cards will work exactly the same because they have all of the same keys on the card. So again, the numbers, the primary and the backup only really matters for this process. Okay, and that's it. The Tangent Wallet's completely set up. 
Note that we're still offline. So these tokens that are supposed to be popping up right now are not popping up because we are not connected to the internet. So we can add this later. So we'll just go later and continue to my wallet. And now the wallet was completely set up offline. So now we can disable the airplane mode and wait a second for my phone to connect back to the internet. All right, as you can see, I've connected back to my internet. So now all I need to do is pull down on the screen. This will refresh the homepage. And you can see we're now online. So if you want to add additional tokens besides Bitcoin and Ethereum, which you probably do, just go to settings, then select your wallet, and then select manage tokens. And here you can scroll through this entire list of tokens, or you can search for any token you want to add. So let's say I want to add Solana. I'll select Solana, then I'll toggle this little enable button, hit the save button, and I need to enter my access code. So I'll go ahead and enter that, tap continue. And anytime you add a new network to your wallet, you're going to have to scan your card as well. So I'm going to scan the card. And it's that simple. Now if we go back to the home page, Solana should be there. And you can see it right there. And it's that easy. So that's how you set up the Tangium wallet offline. But if you want to know how to actually use it, send crypto to it, send crypto from it, make sure to check out my complete user guide in this next video. Or if you just have questions about Tangium, I answer over 40 of them in this other video. Check them out. I'll see you there. God bless.